Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, Long Island is full of fantastic people. We have traveled into many of our great communities to bring you the following stories. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. Get ready, My Long Island TV starts now. Hi, I'm Joe Sabone from JLC Landscape Services. We're a design build firm that's been serving Long Island for over 20 years. Today, we're going to show you how we've used certain design principles of two homes in the Hamptons for this summer retreat. We are in front of your typical uh, salt box style home. What we did was create with natural moss rock a very tranquil feel for the setting of the porch when you're out having coffee or a glass of wine. It is what we call a pondless waterfall. With the pondless water feature, you have the effect, but you don't have as much maintenance as you would with a typical pond. So here, it recirculates through gravel, and there's really no upkeep to treating the water and having to worry about much besides maybe filling it every so often. It helps drown out a little bit of the road noise. It just creates your own paradise. There's three types of lighting that, that people typically ask about. One is line voltage lighting. That a lot of times is very, very hot. The landscape lighting that we've provided creates a soft, elegant look, which is most of what we do. And then the alternative would be to put solar lights in. A lot of the times we're seeing solar lights, um, you'll need a lot more. If you have it in the dull area, like we're gonna take you through a shaded area of the garden, it doesn't get enough light or sun to recharge it won't give off enough light. And sometimes when it gets too much light, you'll get a very yellowing or blue effect. If you could notice, um, there's an oak tree to our right and to our left. I just have a simple circular bed conformed where it just has the landscape light and the mulch. That keeps the mowers and the trimmers away from the flare of the, of the roots of the tree trunk so that way the tree doesn't get damaged and it could live. The center island, I wanted to make more of a focal point, And here I captured the two heights of these trees, they added another vertical structure, um, which is a purple be weeping beech tree that gives us interest in the summer, great color that you typically don't see um, in the landscape that often. And then when the leaves are gone, it gives incredible winter interest with the form of the branching habit. And then we have your standard or typical hydrangea that's gonna give color based on your acidity. You know, it changes from a light pink to a blue or from a blue to a pink based on the acidity in the soil. Part of the design concept is to soften the outer back perimeter of the property. So when you walk in to the space from the arbor, you, you got these soft sweeping curves that are very, very inviting and carries you through. Some of the other benefits besides visual, it's very easy to mow this way. You're not mowing into corners or angles. The easier it is for your lawn company to come in and maintain the lawn, the benefit is the easier, the better for them, the easier it is, the nicer it's gonna look for you. So the sweeping curves add a few different values. We're now entering into a shaded garden. We're typically using a shady mix in the very, very dense shaded areas. A lot of times we're adding a sunshade mix. When it grows, it'll look very much the same and the seed that is best adapted to that area will take over and be more dominant. In the shade, we're able to grow um, a variegated hosta, a white astilbe. Rhododendrons are doing well. They just finished flowering a few weeks ago, a month ago. We also have a fern that's just off behind the wild cherry. We're at our second home. Um, this home is a lot larger, a lot, a lot newer. Um, it was just constructed a year or so ago. We don't have a as mature feel to the property. This crepe myrtle is gonna get larger. It's gonna have very nice winter interest with the slim bark. The goal of this was to provide late summer flowering. The front, we do have some punch color. You could see um, we have a little bit of color started here. This is gonna get continued with annuals and this will be a rotation of color for the four seasons. And we have annuals in a few other areas. This yard um, was again developed so it could be en enjoyed through the summer months. Um, some of the challenges in this area are deer. So we do have a deer fence around the property. The plants around the pool are again um, following the theme of the home. It's very, very formal, very, very organized, very, very clean. We have boxwood in the back giving us that evergreen backdrop. We have the hydrangeas will mature around the seating wall. If you notice, a lot of the forefront pine trees are cleaned to allow light, 
so that way you don't have dead wood during storms or hurricanes to come down on the landscape or a fence or, or part of the home. If you'd like to know more about what you saw today, you can find us at www.jlclandscapeservices.com. Thank you.